hello welcome back welcome back you guys i know it's been a while it's been two weeks since i've uploaded to this channel and i'm just happy to be back i just feel so at peace to just be back doing what i love and if i'm not doing this then i'm doing school and that journey i'm also documenting so if you have not seen my vlog channel it's linked to the first link below if you want to keep up with behind the scenes of my current life right now but today i i want to talk about um i want to talk about boundaries um but before we talk about boundaries i don't want i want us to take a few deep breaths together a few deep breaths y'all okay i'm working on my lisp but anyway a few deep breaths okay let's breathe in and out just even just doing it one time for me i already i already feel more relaxed but boundaries boundaries is definitely a common theme that i come across that i've been coming across in my new journey and i think especially recently i've been focusing on the healing part of my journey and on working on some parts of my personality and behavior that may be toxic or that may may need some work that may be a little bit negative and boundaries has been a really, really common theme because I know a lot of times with boundaries, we think of um, romantic relationships, but I think of it even as in the relationship with friends, with family, and even with yourself. And it's just, you just, the, I think like the main takeaway for me is you don't want to be a doormat. You don't want to be someone that people can just walk all over. You don't want to be a people pleaser, guys. And that's a whole other thing. You And I was starting to see some characteristics of that in myself. Don't be a people pleaser. Don't be a people pleaser. It's important to prioritize you. Put your needs first. You know why? Because with that, you will gain so much more respect. Because when people know that they can use you and know that they can take advantage of you and take your kindness for weakness they do not respect you and you need to be demanding respect on your journey people respect and appreciate boundaries people respect people that understand when to say no that know themselves that put themselves first and aren't worried about how that other person is gonna feel oh she asked me to do this for her but i know it doesn't work for my schedule but i'm still gonna do it because i don't if i don't then she won't like me then she won't be my friend then she'll think i'm not a good friend when that's not a reflection of you that's a reflection of them and the people that get mad at you the people that feel some type of way about you and your life once you start implementing boundaries are not the people for you that's a perfect boundary right there that can show you who is really for you and who you know has your best interests at heart versus people that are trying to use you so you have to have boundaries and don't be afraid to say no because i had to work on this too and just saying guys this is my life and i know that in my future life i'm someone that's well respected people know how to treat me and i teach people how to treat me based on how i treat myself and what i require of them and people pleasing is not anywhere in that being a doormat is not anywhere in that it's somebody that respects themselves and receives respect from others so i just want you guys to remember no matter who it is like if it's a friend family or if you just feel like you have this personality where you you're you're so scared to let people down and to tell people no work on that work on that and and, and set boundaries and it also comes from because I had this issue, too, where I would be kind of afraid to ask for help, afraid to reach out to a friend and ask them to do something because I'm afraid that they'll let me down. I'm afraid that they'll reject me. I'm afraid that they, you know, don't like me. And I'm afraid of that. You know, you're so worried about what other people are thinking, but don't. And when it comes to relationships, when it comes to relationships, boundaries, I think, OK, when it comes to relationships, like when you're dating, meeting someone for the first time. It's all about you're going to be teaching these people how to treat you based on what you require. OK, I am the type of person like I believe if I'm going to be forming some type of even if it's just a platonic relationship with you. That should not I mean, there should be effort put in. There should be contact happening, phone calls happening, text. I mean, not texting, FaceTime happening, not just texting, messaging, DMing. I won't I won't be tolerating that. I, I You know, I will be requiring more out of that dynamic and that's a boundary because i'm not gonna let you just walk all over me and, and treat me any kind of way it's, if it's not what i feel like i deserve and so then that person is gone because i just you was able to just let that person go because you had boundaries you had standards 
and they walked out on their own. You don't even have to worry about that because they didn't level up to what you were expecting. It's just so important. Really sit down and just make sure that you're not being a people pleaser because I, like the, the people that you're trying to please, like I promise it, you deserve better than that. You deserve so much better than that. Um, yeah. Don't be so afraid about what other people are, are going to think of you because in reality, those are not the people you want around anyway. You know, don't be afraid to put yourself first. Also, when you, you know, also be disciplined about it when it comes to just your own life and your relationship with yourself and understanding, okay, I have my priorities. I have my, my obligations. I have my work. I have my school. I have my business that needs my attention. Okay. I, you know, it's, it's easy to get distracted and to feel lazy and to just procrastinate and self-sabotage. I got to work on that myself and saying, no, I want a better relationship with myself. I want to be able to trust myself. And when I say I'm going to do something that I'm going to really work and complete that task, I'm not going to procrastinate and let myself down because that plays a part into it as well. You know, how are you going to expect yourself to Put yourself first and make yourself a priority, your needs a priority when it comes to your relationship with your friends and family and coworkers, if you're not even doing that in your own life. And I think that's why I've always mentioned, have your priorities. What is important to you right now? If you're young, I'm 22, what is really important to you right now? Is it your education? Is it building some form of a business? Is it working on your brand? Is that what's important to you? Is it your 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 journey, your new self love journey, your your healing journey? What is important to you? And prioritize those things, guys. You know, you guys know I really like to read. I love books and all of that. And I was on this thing for the new year of reading a new book every month. And you know, it's like February is almost over now. But you know, right now in my life, I've been just swamped and just with school and work and jobs and it just I, I just reading is something that I just haven't really been able to give attention to because by the time the night's over I really don't want to read I just want to kind of wind down and I say you know what that's okay I'm not going to judge myself for that when it's time to when I feel like reading again I will I'm not going to beat myself up about it because I know that I'm working on what's really important to me I'm making sure I'm solidifying my future at, you know with my career and with my education and everything else that I want to do like the reading and all that stuff I'm going to do it. I'm going to pay attention to it, make time for it when it's time to make time for it. So at the end of the day, guys, please have your priorities. Have some form of plan. Don't be willy nilly. You cannot be on autopilot because I'm seeing this a lot. And and people around me that are my age, you know, or a little bit younger, you're not really tuning in, you know, to like you're not focused like everything you need to be intentional with everything that you're doing and you know i i'm not perfect either but my last book that i was just reading um atomic habits okay that's that's talking about like setting habits but i I read a quote saying that anything the only thing that's really going to determine your future is like it's, it's all based on your habits that you set every day and what you do every day is what determines your future so it's not like you just have some big plan. No, it, it's the small things. It, it's it's making a to-do list or if that's not for you, but it's making a to-do list and doing those things. It's eating healthy. It's exercising. It's taking care of your body. It's getting enough sleep. Those are the habits that are going to make you successful because, and that's why I always say when, like, when I think about who, who I truly am in my most successful, abundant, abundant life, um, natural form. That's who I'm trying to show up as every day. It's someone who's respected. It's someone who respects herself. It's someone who has boundaries. I it's just so it's just so attractive, you know, as a woman to have boundaries. It is nothing cute about just being like, oh, whatever, yeah, willy nilly. Mm-mm. Absolutely not. And because of that, guess what? My circle, I'm smacking, my circle will be small. The people around me, it will be a small amount, honey. But, it, but you know, it don't matter. Quality over quantity and your network determines your net worth. So 
the people you know around me will also be on a journey to that 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 pure and abundant life form you know i'll end with this with this um one of my coaches um she always says that we're we're born like when when you're a baby you're everything i hope i'm like i don't know if it's gonna make sense when i say it but everything that you're destined for you know that god has for you when you know the, the purpose that he's placed on you when you're a baby nothing can take that away from you but once you go through life we experience pain and hurt and heartache and it breaks us down and it alters the way we move and behave and it causes us to a lot of times um develop negative behavioral patterns like i mentioned earlier be very insecure lack confidence and it breaks us down we become so insecure and we don't we don't work towards towards our purpose. We aren't able to identify and see what our purpose is because we're 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 lost. We're confused. We're insecure. We're we're hurting. Um, or or even if you do know what your purpose is, you don't have the confidence to reach towards it because you're too afraid of what others will think because you're insecure because of the pain that you faced. And so, what I, and so a part of the journey is healing. It's healing that pain. It's healing that doubt. It's and part of that is saying it's just projecting it and saying you know or, or or journaling or projecting or saying it out loud or even making video diaries and saying look I, this the way i was treated in my childhood by this person affected me this situation that i went through at this time affected me it hurt me maybe insecure it made me doubt it made me not trust you have to heal in order to see your fullest potential and really start to like wake up a little bit and and, and then in that, you'll start to be more confident about 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 um, your purpose and trusting in your purpose, guys. It, it's such a liberating feeling. And I'm so happy to be sharing this journey with you all, with the world. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to connect with me. And I'll be back soon.